जी कनेक्ट सीजन फाइव विद मी शामली और आज हम हैं ले मरीडन में तो आप अपना बाकी का सारा काम साइड में रख के अपने आधे घंटे का समय हमारे साथ स्पेंड कीजिए और उसके बदले आपको मिलेगा ढेर सारा एंटरटेनमेंट और बहुत सारा मज़ा वेल आज के एपिसोड में हम लाए हैं यू के कोनों से चुन चुन कर स्टोरीज लेकिन उससे पहले देखते हैं वॉट्स ट्रेंडिंग ऑन द सोशल मीडिया दिस वीक इन आ सेक्शन वॉट्स बजिंग Love can make one do the most unthinkable. A husband lost his wife to a tragic car accident and had to raise their daughter as a single father. To overcome the grief of this loss, the husband recreated a bunch of old photos he had clicked with his late wife. Instead, he clicked them with his daughter. He has tried to keep them all as close as possible from the old picture, from the clothes to the dogs. It's the same from the previous picture with his wife. While tragedy takes its toll on human lives, there are but small moments in lives that help one forget how cruel sometimes fate can be. As a group of refugees walk along the German-Danish border on their way towards Sweden in the hope of starting everything anew, a Danish policeman took a moment during the break to play with a little refugee girl. The pictures since have gone viral and evoked strong response from across the world. While a weather reporter's job can be assumed as easy, it gets challenging when a town with 58 characters comes up for mention. Liam Dutton, a weather reporter from a TV station, nailed the pronunciation of the town that most weather reporters prefer to use the short form of. Let's hear that again. Within a week, the video got over 11 million views. Well, the captain of Indian Test cricket team is now also trying his entrepreneurship skills. I'm talking about Virat Kohli, who is now the co-owner of UAE Royals in IPTL. IPTL, यानी कि Indian Premier Tennis League. इसका format is quite similar to IPL. Well, Z Connect was present at the special announcement of UAE Royals. Let's take you there. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my absolute pleasure to introduce you to our stars, star-studded panels of guests seated with us today. I think it's a great feeling. I'm very proud of it, and you know, to to be associated with people like Roger Federer and the top rank of the players, with Virat Kohli, Ravi Shastri, Mahesh Bhupati. I think it's a great experience, and uh, you know, these are all legends in their own right, and uh, you know. Uh, motivates me to keep fit because I am in the company of all fit people. So I am really looking forward to it and uh, very excited about it. The new rules in place they were trying to do the idea of having a team, the idea of music, and, you know, entertainment, excitement. I think nobody really expected it's going to be this competitive, to be honest. And. Uh, Uh, but as you as you go along, of course, if you're part of the team, um, you support each other. One of the best experiences of my life. Um, it's so fun. It's so intense. Um, it's great. I love it. Yeah, well, I think from the UAE Royals perspective, they got Roger Federer on their team, so they're very excited. Uh, you know, they finished second last year, and you know, hopefully, the addition of Roger on the team is going to help them get the title. I love being in a in a team environment. I think that's so special. And I think that's what makes um, IPTL so special is that you're. It's so rare that you are in this team environment, um, and you're not just playing for yourself, but you're playing for for everyone that's on the bench as well. It's been fantastic. Uh, I think it's been high energy the whole time. Uh, really competitive out there. Um, yeah, every team has absolutely wanted to win every set possible. It's something that drives me to be part of it, simply because uh, it's an individual sport. But you saw the fun they had when they play as a unit. I mean, just to see Pete Sampras, Roger Federer on the bench together. I mean that's uh, something you can, you can only dream of. You know, you, it, it won't happen in individual sports. So, having been a part of team sport all my life, and having had the experience of uh, being part of a team, my role will be not just in uh, advising about team sport, but also building the brand of UAE Lord Royals. You know, it's really exciting, and I think it suits my game well. You know, I don't have to have too much of a warm up. I think um, my age sort of helps that a little bit. But um, yeah, just being around all these legends of the game, and I've been learning so much, and it's just it's so exciting with all the fans. And when I ha when I get out there, I just try and do whatever I can to entertain, and, and obviously get the win for my team. In IPL, we have all different uh, players all over the world playing in one team, 
and uh, you know actually uh, having the passion to make that team win uh, and creating friendships and bonds and uh, you know it's a great experience for cricketers especially uh, because it's so competitive throughout the year playing against those guys you actually get to play along with them and uh, it's just a different experience you know as sportsmen you look for that you look for experiences which you might not have thought of and uh, I think IPTL is giving exactly the same thing to the tennis players where they can feel the team uh, uh, atmosphere, feel the team energy and actually uh, you know play as a group which is almost impossible in, a, in an individual sport so I think it's great for tennis. Growing the game and doing something that you know you don't have an opportunity to do on the tour is to play new places and that's exactly what's happening and that's why it's so much fun. छोटे से ब्रेक के बाद हाजिर होते हैं तब तक आप अपने मोबाइल के मैसेजेस वगैरह चेक कर लीजिए हम बस यूं गए और यूं आए ओनली ऑन जी कनेक्ट सीजन फाइव इट गोज विदाउट सेइंग दैट ऑल ऑफ आस लव आर मॉम्स टू बेट्स एंड हम सभी उनकी लंबी उम्र की दुआ मांगते हैं रिसेंटली वी सॉ द प्रोटेक्ट योर मॉम कैंपेन वेयर लिटिल किड्स वर क्रिएटिंग अवेयरनेस फॉर ब्रेस्ट कैंसर एंड वो ऑल्सो डूइंग समथिंग एज नोबल एज डोनेटिंग द हेयर फॉर दोज वुमेन अफेक्टेड बाई कीमोथेरेपी लेट्स टेक यू दैट Mom campaign is probably one of the only campaigns run by children as young as seven, and we do it without any money, with no sponsors, nothing commercial about it. So that's what's different about the campaign, and we spread the message through dances and songs, which is more exciting. So like today, you will see the drums, dance, music, and not boring, and nothing boring about it, nothing official about it, and that's what's special about the campaign. is uh, something i started when i met my nephew dylan he's from new jersey actually he was growing his hair and he had very long hair then his mom told me that he's growing it for a purpose and i was really shocked because if an 8 year old can do so much he had really long hair at that time and he had been growing it for 4 years actually because for boys it takes long time and uh, people were bullying him and making fun of him and, but he didn't stop and finally he donated a 16 inch ponytail so that you'll find the story on our website in fact it's a beautiful story and i thought i should also do something because during chemotherapy people lose their hair the lashes they everything so hair is something very precious to a chemotherapy patient and it's very expensive the wig is very expensive today a 4 year old will be donating her hair and it's really nice to see small children you know 4 year olds donating their hair and knowing what it means to a cancer patient because as i said it's very precious it's more important than jewelry and gold for them and and it's so expensive so that's why we need to promote this Recently many people in Dubai have been wondering if it is the right time to invest in property here. Well, we have an expert with us today on Z Connect who will probably help us make that decision even easier. Let's go and meet him. Well, I'm with someone who's probably the best person to tell us about the property investment scene in Dubai. Please welcome Mr. Akash Kanjwani, Director of Skyview Real Estate. Akash, welcome to Z Connect. Thank you. Thank you Shamili for having me. As an expert, tell us how is the current scene in the property investment in Dubai? Well, currently the market is uh, from the last two years. The market is shifting its position. Earlier, the more ma uh, more launches were done on luxury market. Mm -hmm. However, now more developers are keen to cater a market which is affordable properties. Mm -hmm. This is a price bracket where people are earning between twelve thousand to twenty-five thousand. Right. Uh, this segment was kind of ignored earlier because everybody was busy launching properties which are worth millions and mm -hmm. so. Well, while buying, what are the things that a person should be aware of before they get into the scene of property? Well, first thing that a person should look into is what kind of requirement it is. Location plays a very important role in it. Right. Uh, if they are looking for someone which is near to their office, 
or somewhere where they can uh, you know travel easily hmm. or they are looking for some location which is fancy like marinas and downtown dubai which right. offer bit more luxurious uh, uh, environment than normal setting hmm. well according to you right now what are the most interesting projects that people should be aware of to invest in well as i told you there are a lot of uh, developers which are catering to the end user market right now and that, for that there are a lot of uh, new launches which are hmm. very interesting for the people to look at one of the launches is called botanica which we are marketing exclusively it's located in jumeirah village circle okay uh, jumeirah village circle is very centrally located it's it's located between al khail road and emirates road which is hardly 15 minutes far from marina mm. and uh, 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 because of the location the traffic is not really for inbound customers uh, botanica is a project which is has a price bracket for studio starting from 424000 a uh, one bedrooms are starting from 850000 and this is a price bracket where a lot of end users are looking to buy uh, uh the payment plan that we are offering is 25% during construction and okay. 75% on completion hmm. which can be financed from banks which is uh, there are a lot of banks which are uh, almost six banks have signed up with us hmm. uh, uh interest rates as i told you are historically low so your emrs are not going to be between more than 3000 to 4000 for a one bedroom hmm. uh, for a 25 year loan period hmm. uh uh a uh, someone who's looking to buy in botanica can always go and see project it is uh, the sample apartments are ready the finishes are ready the project is more than 80% completed hmm. uh, apart from botanica there are few more developments one of the interesting one is town square by nashma uh, they are also looking for a price bracket uh, of studio starting from 359 and one bedroom starting from 499000 someone can consider uh, 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 you know these projects as well perfect well akash uh, my last question would be if anyone is interested and wants to talk to you more about botanic or check it out what's the best way to get in touch well the best way is you can call us directly on 800 skyview hmm. uh, that's the easiest form and then we can also help you processing your mortgage getting a pre approval hmm. and also as as i told you the project is ready sample apartments are ready so hmm. we can schedule a viewing we can show you the product and then take it further from there perfect akash thank you so much for that insightful advice and and we'll hope to see you soon again thank you so much arash is the confluence of glamour and giving both going hand in hand for an initiative called save the children of india at this event many prominent designers exhibited their designs and many people attended enjoyed and bought from their favorite designers the best part is the proceeds from this went ahead to save the children of india let's take you to this event Uh, this collection that I've got this time is more uh, with a very different metallic embellishment. Uh, I think that's something new that everyone's finding, and you know, I'm getting great response on that. The collection, uh, what I brought here, is what I think would work for the market here. So it's it's a mixture of two of my collections, one called Jo de Vivre, and the other one called Banaras Banaras Lumiere. Banaras Lumiere was the last collection I launched. and so i've got a, a mix of of both and both have sold pretty well today this year has been very special for us because it it's an onset and kick start of the festive season september normally kicks off at diwali and eid shopping so it's been a great uh, shopping fiesta for a lot of people we are not an exhibition where you can just Take a stall with us. You have to show me what you're bringing. You have to show me your price points. I will change the designs around if I don't like it because I know my clientele. Uh, we had these dhoti pants and uh, capes. Actually, the one I was wearing also got sold off. So it was like uh, it was quite a hit <laughs> this uh, this season. Yeah. We do resort wear all year round because of the weather in Dubai as well as in Bombay. So that's kind of our uh, that's a pret line. And otherwise, we also got the festive line, which is more colourful and little more uh, like heavier, more couture. short break we'll be back soon only on Z Connect
If you think that coming up with new exciting dishes every morning for your kids tiffin is a problem, then our next segment is going to totally solve it. It's time for a brand new segment, Tiffin Delight. season we are celebrating everyday chefs main baat kar rahi hu un lovely mothers ki jo subah uth ke bade pyar se apne bachchon ka daba banate hain well all you mothers welcome to tiffin delight we are here to make your mornings easier and your kids happier with some exciting delightful recipes main hu is waqt at urban bistro at dubai media city aur mere sath hai chef sinu who's been kind enough to show us some exciting recipes for your kids chef welcome to see connect thank you so much for having me here Well, it's our pleasure. तो शेफ हमें बताइए आज हम क्या बना रहे हैं आज हम बनाएंगे किनुआ फ्रिटाटा ओके लवली नेम साउंड क्वाइट आई मीन डिफिकल्ट आई एम श्योर बट देन इट्स नथिंग बट इट्स अवियर ऑमलेट मेड विथ किनुआ तो उसमें हम खूब सारा वेजिटेबल डालेंगे जैसे हम ऑमलेट्स में डालते हैं hmm. उसको मिक्स करके एक अच्छा सा यू नो वेरी फ्लफी ऑमलेट बनाएंगे ट्विस्ट hmm. uh, Perfect. So let's yeah. start. Tell me the ingredients. Sure. Of course, being an omelette, we'll we'll start with, of course, eggs. Eggs. Okay. Fritata, I mean, a little bit normal, so more under like that because mm -hmm. as I told you, it should be like a bit more fluffy and heavier. Should be heavier. fluffy yes. and it should be stuffed with veggies yes. nicely, right? So it should be able to hold the vegetables what you're putting in. That's right. What do what do you do? What do you have to do is, you make four omelettes, five omelettes, but When you portion it for the kid, probably hmm. you can just do only half or quarter of it. Right, right. Yeah, with a slice of bread, it'd be like. Huh. And half, maybe you can keep yes. half it later. Yes. The best part of it, it is like you are omelette making. So in the omelette, there are a lot of vegetables. Right. And in it, we will add some cheese. Some, you know, cream. We will add some. So it will be heavy. In it, it's like full of nutrients. That's right. Omelette, the more you fry it, the more it will be lighter because it's mm -hmm. incorporating the air from the inside. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 so i'm just adding bit of salt a little pepper jaise bachcho ke liye bana rahe hain to like thoda kam thoda kam so now we we'll directly uh, add the quinoa yes it's already cooked okay. it's already cooked hmm. so for those who want to know how quinoa is cooked it's very simple you just have to put it uh, cook it in boiling water like how you cook rice absolutely and, and drain the water yes and yeah. you can put a little uh, salt while cooking it so that it flavors the quinoa absolutely. already uh, i've got some uh, chopped pepper hmm Okay. All the colors: green, Beautiful. yellow, red. Hmm. It adds on the color. I'm and adding some onion. That again is optional. If your kid doesn't like uh, onion, onion, you can you add can some spring it. onion. Spring onion, if you want. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, you can add some chopped tomatoes. Okay. Now I'll add some pork cooking cream. Okay. Now, ये cream का क्या फायदा होता है? जैसे आपने कभी notice किया होगा like when you make omelets, if you serve it immediately. That's always, you know, fluffier, it's softer, you know. So, cream डालने से ये फायदा होता है कि omelette still remains moist. Ah. It doesn't go dry. It doesn't, you know, you know, just cracks. Interesting. Okay. Now it's time to cook it. Mhm. Adding a bit of olive oil. Okay. The pan is really hot, and then we just, I'm just mixing it because you know it will be cooking faster. Mhm. अब हल्का हल्का mix करने. हाँ हाँ. So that base उसका लगेगा नहीं, and you know it's spreading evenly mm. now i'm adding some edamame on top mm -hmm. edamame is nothing but jaise uh, soya bean hota hai mm. usi ke dane hai ye okay now i'll add some cook uh, mozzarella cheese okay you just spread it evenly also so it's more of like a pizza because it's got the topping it's got the mozzarella mm. cheese right so it looks very similar to a pizza okay. so now this goes to the oven okay. because the base is already cooked almost is cooked now we put the cheese on top now we we need to cook the entire thing from the top as well and uh -huh. the cheese to be melted and nice caramelized uh, feel perfect let's do that all right now the fritata is in the oven meanwhile it's cooking hum ek bahut hi simple aur khoobsurat sa side dish banayenge okay uh, again a skewer perfect the side dish is always excite me chef yes. aap kya karna hai uh, aapne caprice salad suna hoga mm -hmm. tomato bocconcini salad suna hoga right uh, it's It's the same thing, mm -hmm. but I'm just trying to put in a skewer. Okay. So you just have one cherry tomato. Okay. So you just Slice do it. two skewers. The bokkun chini. We call bokkun chini bokkun chini, or it's the raw mozzarella. 
Right. So the same mozzarella what you have it on mm. the pizza, mm. but uh, that is matured and this is not. So this any supermarket or hypermarket you can just get as yes. it is. Yes. And it's generally dipped in this. Yeah, it's always in. A, it comes with the liquid. Liquid. So we just start with the tomato and the base. Okay. I'm going to do the other one. Hmm. This is fun. Alternate. Okay. And cherry tomato again. Another tomato. Like this. Oh. Normally, I prefer to keep like uh, one basil leaf also in between. Uh -huh. But I'm sure kids normally don't like to have these leaves and all. Hmm. They like uh, the, you know the simplest thing. Hmm. Marinate it with a little bit of pesto. Oh. So, so this will add a nice flavor and yes. Hmm. Uh, and then you know a bit of salt. Okay. So let me just check whether my frittata is okay. ready or no. Wow. Yes. Now it's perfectly done. That looks stunning. Beautifully cooked. So the cheese nice has melted color. completely. Yes. Very Find your hands, nice. the pan is really hot. Okay. Now you can cut it as like you know, pizza. Like pizza, mm. yes, as I said. So it's still very moist. Mm -hmm. Now again, uh, the. So I just want to show everyone the thickness of this omelet. It is actually like a thin based pizza. Next. Food is ready. Now we need a tiffin box. Dabba. Of dabba. course, I've come with a dabba. And you always have it ready. Of course, huh? <laughs> okay, so now we'll just there arrange it. Uh, it's always preferred hmm. if the kid is okay to have this much egg, vegetable, and then the bread. Right. It's always nice to have a slice of bread. Okay. And then hmm. the frittata. Like a nice toasted bread on yes, the side. Absolutely. Okay. Is it a buffet? This is lovely. Now I want to go back to school so I can eat this. Moms, you have to have a look at this. If this is going to school, it is definitely not going to come back empty. All that is going to come back is an empty dabba, a fuller stomach and a happier kid. Absolutely. Chef, thank you so much for showing us this lovely dish today. Well, that is all for this week's episode of Z Connect. Do write in to us with your feedback or suggestions on our Facebook page or on our Twitter page. And if you have any interesting stories that you'd like us to feature on the show, do send them to us as well. Or if you miss bhagam bhag mein koi episode miss ho jata hai, you can always log on to YouTube. I'll see you again next week only on Z Connect. This is Shamali saying goodbye. Action. Your hair is all over the place. Okay, wait, let me try this. This is like a commercial. Ha, <laughs> okay, take it done. Wow, kya blower bhi ho raha natural. Chalo, chalo, chalo. Khushi ke saath, ha, khushi ke saath. Come on, throw over. Kya makhi hai. Can you say one song? Thoda or happy? Maine kuch kiya hi nahi. You always have it ready. Ha, ha. Ye mera part time job hai. Okay. Oh, I did that. <laughs>